Now, okay, I wanted to show you guys something for context. I know Garrett tweeted this like a while ago. So this other day I saw this. Um, this was the 10th. So this turned into a whole thing. We're gonna go down the rabbit hole. I just wanna talk about this subject real quick and then we'll like go in game and we'll give my opinion. I'll just give you guys a update of what's going on. So Garrett uh, tweeted here, you just got off the phone with my rapper with EA and Respawn. Kissing your dad on lips is fine. Keep crying out to your salty ass babies because daddy's parched and needs a drink. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> and this was a response to this post, uh, which said, just goes off the, the phone with my rep over the Ian Respawn, see if you tap shaving for control is fine, keep crying all these salty ass babies, because daddy's parching needs a drink, literally crying on him, but that's using an exploit that you yourself are using. Yeah, I don't know who this guy was. Apparently he's a pro Apex coach, um, does controller content, I guess. That was about it. I, I also made a meme, like to give a context about how, how classy this dude is, right? I myself made a meme, just got off the phone with a rep over at EA and Respawn, constantly making new smurfs and soloing to master is fine, so keep crying all you salty babies, cause daddy's parched, needs a drink, catch me doing it live every day, uh, every weekday, 6 to 10 CEST. I thought it was a funny post, it was a funny thing. I don't know if he was serious or not in his post, oh he's made a funny thing. And Alpha Sumac here, top 3 best tweets I've seen. And then this guy, the, the, the original guy, started attacking me for some whatever reason. It's really weird. That's just controller players at this point. That's not why we're here. But the, the thing is, th then I went on YouTube, and so we're going down the rabbit hole here. J Miles made a video. So basically, we'll do it from because here. We'll just I was just thinking, here. okay, obviously this is, you know, he doesn't have a rep over there. Some people do, and I, I know that that's to be true, but I just didn't think, you know, a lot of times when you hear that, it's it's just a farm, right, for impressions. But it was actually true, and he said, CFG tab strafing for controller is completely fine, so keep it oh, to D dude, you man. yourself are using so like i said a couple of days went by and i decided to dm him and ask him what exactly like if it was actually true and he literally said no it was all serious yeah i was not trolling at all i asked about it and if it was not allowed and they literally told yeah, no, me th that guy i've never heard of him in my life before and then apparently has like 150k uh, followers on tiktok or whatever it's nuts the clear that's very good for him apparently he that because it is identical to the mechanic of tap- You got angry for the half for the video. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. So the point is here, the EA thing is CFG thing. What they're saying here is, so so one one big crucial piece of context here that J Miles is missing is like, con because uh, he's talking about, oh, maybe we should add tap strafing to the console. You can't add tap strafing to console because tap strafing is lurching you're stacking lurching inputs lurching inputs doesn't exist on controller we had a whole discussion on, uh, on uh, about it on my stream actually yesterday because someone said oh you can sim and get tap strafing it doesn't work because a controller doesn't have it built in so when you say you can tap, tap strafe on a uh, console then you're lying or you don't know what you're talking about you don't know what, what it is because you can't like objectively you can't through any means um, anyways, moving on, that's what I saw, right? And so apparently, according to this guy, uh, using a CFG on controller is fine because, like, I don't know what the logic was, I didn't really get the post. It's fine, is all he said. Um, and J Miles, as a good reporter he is, he went in and he said, yes, it's completely fine, uh, or whatever, he, he asked, was, was this a troll or real? He goes, oh, it's real. Uh, I literally talked to my rep at Respawn and he came back to me and said that you can't have shaving controller, like, it's okay. Which is no surprise, they've been doing it the whole time. You're not allowed to do it in ALGS because you're using macros, or so I assume. But you're, you're, you're allowed to do it in pubs, I don't think it matters. Right. That's what he's saying, and that apparently according to whatever, like, neo strafing, whatever, these types of, the, the actual hard macros where you're, like, jumping around, moving around, those are not allowed, you're not allowed to tap strafe, sorry, uh, neo strafe on controller, because that's, like, hard scripting. Which is a weird place to draw the line, in my opinion. Because then what that means, like, then I should start scripting. I don't script for my, like, what he said in his tweet was really weird, because he says you're using the same exploit, where is it? Like, using an exploit that you yourself are using? I'm not. It's not the same exploit. Like, as everyone knows, or should know by now, tap strafing on controller isn't possible, so you need to use Steam macros to accomplish it, and the macros basically, I think it spams like a W input, like, really fast. But... A Steam macro... We can just go in game while we're talking about this. So, but a Steam macro is... 
like, can be can be thousands times faster than an actual scroll wheel can be. If I scroll wheel tap strafe, I do a scroll wheel, a scroll like this. That's like fifth. That's like I don't even know. Nine, not, not that many inputs, like 10 inputs. From his response alone, I'm gonna show you guys the response because I think you missed it. Like, I kind of glossed over it. But like, from my response, is memeing the situation. He goes, you literally got your ass kicked by IGN reporters who don't know how to swap the gun in the season 16 preview. So he just attacked me because I made a meme. Moving on. Yes, it's like around 10, 20 inputs on a mouse wheel. It doesn't matter. It's like, but on a, a tap Steam macro, theoretically, you can get like hundreds in the same space where you can do like one um, uh, scroll on a PC or 10 inputs and the thing is the more you do the more you like the more inputs you have the more lurches you input the faster you do it the more uh, the sharper your tap shapes will be and thanks to this I don't have the clip I've talked about it I couldn't find it I know I've seen it we've had clips of people taking like a gravity cannon and doing a full 180 on controller you can't do it on mouse and keyboard with a natural scroll strafe. It has to be with a macro. So according to what he's saying, that means I should start using a macro on mouse and keyboard as well to do um, to do a tap strafe, right? But that kind of sparked a discussion that about like config CFGs, and people came in and asked me. They've been asking me all the time, Otter, what do you think about CFGs on on console? Because the the thing is, the whole discussion has been. It's been sliding a little bit. It's been it's been moving. The goalpost has been moving a lot, especially lately. But just just in general, like it used to be, you can tap shape on on mouse and keyboard, and I can't tap shape on controller. And you like guys don't like aim assist. We don't like tap strafe, so it's fair. And now you can apparently tap strafe on controller, and all of a sudden, it's not it, it's okay. Right, I did. They get it. Like controller did go, always gets so much power in these discussions, or like overall, you get a lot of power when it comes to shit. What the fuck? Why are you shooting me? Thank you. Shoot the other guy. Hold on. Yeah, when it comes to these type of things, my, they get so much shit. Load console. I need to make that. I need to make the distinction. There's a massive difference between roller and console that people always get mixed up. Roller and console is not the same thing. Um, yes, you can play on a roller on console, but it's a separate lobby and you can't add macros. Whereas on PC, you can add macros, CFG scripts and whatever. And with my example in mind, you can pull off pretty crazy movement on a controller on PC. Uh, and in some cases, even better thanks to scripting. Because the only way to do something like a tap strip on, on controller is through Scripting, which I said is stronger than a, than a natural scroll strafe. Um, so I don't know what you guys think about that, but th the way I look at it, it's, it's crazy to me that one side keeps going. You guys have tap strafe with Amos is fair. Like we were talking about the whole tap strafing discussion was on. And now when they're suddenly allowed to do tap strafes on controller, not on console, um, all of a sudden it is, it, 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 it is fair that they have that as, as well. It's like we're, we're, I mean, like, it was already a thing, but it's like officially allowed or like inofficially allowed because it was like a tweet for some random guy and not an actual announcement that said it's okay. Uh, no, Apex doesn't ban macros like jitter aiming or whatever. No, they don't. But it is, they say it's illegal. Yeah, you could use software and like macro and script the same way. But it's like, the reason it doesn't sit right with me, I don't defend scripts, you guys know what I think about this, I think automation is like cheating. Like if, if you're doing something that automates a process, makes it easier in that sort of way, to the point where you're not even doing the inputs yourself, again, like automation, like a full on macro, like I consider that cheating, that is too much. You need to at least do the inputs yourself. You can make it easier for yourself, you can't do them yourself. And... And the thing is with macros, or sorry, the thing is with the, the whole discussion is like... Neo strafing is, is definitely cheating by that definition, because Neo strafing just turn on a script, and you kind of like jump and you, you just bounce over the place. You jump and you bounce over the place, and it's fully automated, it's no skill involved, 
you're just like it's just a robot doing it for you or what makes it worse is you have this if you're doing it on a mouse and keyboard like it takes all of your focus to do a neo strafe whereas you like if you're using a script for it you can just keep aiming and beam someone but why it's one of the reasons it's very egregious to combine macro script cfgs whatever with a, a controller a pc controller is you get all of these much stronger versions of what's humanly possible so you're kind of not playing the game at all at that point um, but you also get aim assist with rotational aim assist, which is zero milliseconds reaction time and, and all of that fun stuff, regals moving, whatever. So you get the best of both worlds. Like you should, if you take your gaming seriously, if winning is very important to you and you just want to get a leg up in today's environment, uh, if you're on PC, buy a controller, install a script. They're not going to ban you for it. I don't want I don't want Apex to give uh, I don't want Apex to give Master Key with aim assist that would ruin it completely. Because people are gonna take that out of context. It wouldn't ruin like it wouldn't make it hard to be on Master Keyboard. It would probably make it too easy, but it would just destroy the fun of the game. Like, but you were playing Master Keyboard because you want the challenge, you want like your your hard work to be rewarded. You know what I mean? And if you, you just have a you give aim assist to Master Keyboard, like it just defeats that. The dopamine loop is destroyed. There's a, there's a push to remove any form of skill from the game, like tap shift. Okay, I like this comment. So there is a, such a push to remove any form of, of skill from the game, like tap shaping movement like stuff needs to be learned and practice. Your MS reaction time doesn't or pressing a single button. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of like a big problem because there's... It's just ridiculous that we're in this situation in gaming where like everyone's supposed to get handouts and just get everything for free. You know what I mean? Keep crying. Like, I'm not crying. Like, that's what I mean. This is what I'm, I'm exp I try to explain every single day. Like, I'm not a single thing I've said is crying. I've shared my opinion on something, but I'm not crying. 